Hey everyone, and welcome to a short video to show you how to install the new Conquest Reforged Fabric Mod Pack in your launcher. Now for this example, I'm going to be using AT Launcher, as it's the one that I use, and it's extremely easy, simple, and fast. I just really enjoyed it. Uh, pretty much the steps for this, though, are very similar to all the other launchers, so it, this tutorial should help you out no matter what. But anyways, let's begin. So as you can see on the screen, I'm on the Conquest Reforged homepage. Now this link will be in the description below. So if you want to just go straight to it, click on that link, you'll end up right here. Now from this page, you'll want to also click on the news tab up here in the top center. And this is going to bring you to an article explaining the new Conquest refabricated uh, pack. Now, as you can see, you'll want to use either Curse CurseForge, ModRenth, Prism, or AT Launcher, and you're also going to want to install the Artigras. Now, essentially what that is, it says right here, it's an alternative to Optifine's better grass that features extended modded grass blocks, nether grasses, and connectivity. So it definitely helps. It's definitely worth putting in here, but this is going to kind of give you the basics of everything here. And of course, if you need to put in a report, you would click on that link and you're good to go. But this is for version 1.19.2. Uh, so definitely make sure that your instance is created as such, but let's get on straight onto the AT launcher. All right, so here we are on the AT launcher page where you can download the launcher. It's simple as that. Now here you're going to select the OS of your choice or operating system, but I'm going to choose Windows recommended. So setup recommended right here. Now this will of course download the EXE file for you to kind of get going. And of course, simple enough, you click on it, you go through the whole spill, okay, you download it, it's that simple. I mean, just follow the prompts, you're good to go, select your drive, so on and so forth. Uh, now let's get on to the launcher itself. All right, so now that you're on the launcher page, the first step you'll wanna take is to sign in with your Microsoft account. Now, once you're signed in, you'll see your name at the bottom of the screen indicating you're set to go. So in order to do that, you're just gonna to wanna to go to accounts here on the right-hand side, type in all your information, log in with Microsoft, and then you'll be able to see your name down here. As you can see, I'm already signed in, so I'm not gonna, you know, sign <laughs> sign out and sign back in, but you get the gist, it's very simple. Now, once you've completed that, you're gonna wanna scroll over here to packs. Now, here, I already have it signed in, but let's just start over from scratch. So, once you hit packs, you're going to go to the left side and click on CurseForge. It's going to automatically default to AT Launcher, but you're gonna to wanna to click on CurseForge and then you're gonna to wanna to go over here to search and you're gonna to wanna to type in Conquest Reforge and hit enter. Now this is gonna pull up a few, a few things here, but you can see the Conquest Reforge official mod pack is right here. From here, you're going to wanna to hit new instance you can type the name. So here we'll just put uh, test, test, test. And version to install should be Fabric 1.19.2, version 1.0.1 .1 as of the time of this video. It is in beta, so it is subject to change, but you're just gonna wanna hit install. Now, all the, load, all the mods are gonna load in, everything's gonna be set. You're not gonna have to do anything you're gonna get this message saying that it's officially been installed, find it in the instances tab. Now from there, go back to the instances tab and you will be able to see it. So there's a few things you can do here before you really get going. Now, this is simple. Go to your settings, click on that, and you're gonna see initial memory slash RAM and maximum memory slash RAM. Now you can leave the initial memory on 512 but you're going to want to change this maximum memory slash RAM. Now the Conquest Reforged devs do suggest dedicating eight gigs to the instance. So you can leave the initial memory once again on 512. However, you do need to change the maximum memory in an increment of 1024. 1024 is equal to one gig of RAM. So multiply that number by however much you want to dedicate. For my instance, I've dedicated 12 gigs of RAM just to make sure everything runs smoothly. But if anything, if you only have 16 gigs of RAM or something like that, you're going to want to keep it down to eight gigs, okay? Of course, you can select your window size. I run in 1440p, but that's about that. So that's simple. Now from here, you're gonna go back into the instance and we are going to load up and get this going. 
All right, so here you'll be able to see the main screen with the Conquest background, the appropriate fonts, all that good stuff. That's how you know everything worked out. When in doubt, you can go to the mods and you will see everything here, including Artagrass because it is in the pack. But everything should be set and you are set to go. You can simply go into single player. You can begin building and placing blocks immediately. So there we have it that is how you do it in at launcher now i'm going to give you a quick rundown in curse forge let's get straight to that all right so on the main screen for curse forge you can see this is this is the home page you know you select minecraft you go into it so this is your mod packs for minecraft we're not going to create a custom profile or anything like that uh, the devs made it super easy, so we're just going to keep this nice and simple. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to Browse Mod Packs. Now, the next step you're going to want to take is go to Game Versions, and you are going to want to select 1.19.2. Now, at that point, you're going to go up to the search bar, and once again, type in Conquest Reforged and hit Enter. Now, this is going to pull it up very similar to every other launcher, but instead of hitting install, you're just gonna click on the name. This is gonna bring you to their homepage for you know all the packs, and you're gonna wanna go to versions. You can see here, the one that you're gonna install by default is the 118 pack, we're not gonna do that. So that's why we click on versions, and we are going to see right here the Conquest Reforged Official Mod Pack Fabric 1.19.2 as of right now version 1.0.1 zip. You're going to sit here and you're going to install it. You can see here it's thinking and it's loading everything. We're going to be set here and then it's going to be able to create that instance for you. So right off the bat, there it is. But let's just go back to the Minecraft and here it is. Fabric 1.19.2. There, it, it, it literally does the same thing as AT Launcher. Now, obviously, once again, before you hit play, you're gonna wanna hit start. You're gonna wanna click on Minecraft down here on game specific, and you are going to want to adjust your allocated memory. You can change you know, your desktop resolution, all that good stuff, but this is where you can choose how many gigs you want the Minecraft server to use. And it will be on the increments needed, so it makes life a lot easier. You can do all your RAM, or you know, at least eight gigs, which is gonna be right around like the uh, 8,000, I wanna say like, 900 something mark maybe 8896 i don't know something like that but it's going to be there so definitely allocate your memory correctly and then you can get out of these settings go back to the x there we go and hit play and you're already going to boot up so that's essentially it so uh that's how you do it on curse forge and at launcher i hope y'all enjoyed that video i hope i kept it short and sweet enough for everybody um but there you have it so definitely check it out this is going to how you're uh, this is going to be how you download everything and how you get to play in within five minutes so um thank y'all so much for watching the video as always thanks for tuning in uh, leave a comment if you liked it hit the thumbs up all that good stuff but i'll catch y'all again for any more tutorials in the near future thank y'all this is ledger of purpose signing off have a good day happy gaming Catch you next time.